we're here with the MedSec uh, anglers and what we're doing today is, is part of the Department of the Environment's overarching citizen science project. In this particular part of the, that particular project, what we're doing is we are tagging some fish and in this case we're targeting uh, specifically the white bream. Why are we carrying out a tagging program? Well, it's important for sustainability practices. So what we're doing is, first of all, the, the fishermen, anglers, they're taking part in this program and they, they are encouraged to fish and release. And it's all, not only about taking your fish home uh, to eat it, but it's as well about sustainability and sustaining the sport. Um, because these guys do it for the love of fishing and, and the sport. But at the same time, uh, when it comes to tomorrow and future generations, they want that sport to continue and they want other people to, to be able to enjoy the same sport that they're enjoying at the moment. This sort of data will give us, once these fish come back, it would give us a growth rate, it would give us a lot of data which is scientifically important and we can look at a lot of things with it. So that's why it's important to carry these things out. Zero nine two. It's something that um, we've done, I think, on two occasions. The first time we actually did it was on the reclamation. It's important if you, if you actually take care for the fish we have and our environment, we will actually keep on enjoying this spot. You know, um, there's many kids um, joining in the the fishing at the moment and that's quite sort of um, pleasing to see, you know. If we kill everything that we catch, um, it's, that's not sustainable really. So we do need to keep some, you know, because everyone likes to have a nice fresh fish. But if we, if we can keep a couple and throw some back or the ones that, that are smaller must be released alive. So that's really quite important for everyone that's going fishing even though if you are experienced or not, it's something that we need to sort of um, take care. You know, we have to take care of what we have. We are very lucky to have as many species as we've got. So hopefully it, it keeps on going. <laughs> The fisheries in Gibraltar is something that is very hard to determine. Um, I mean, elsewhere it's determined uh, specifically on catch data. This is part of the reason why we're doing uh, tagging projects such as these, and this is part of the reason why we're doing a citizen science project where anyone can take part in, in, in this sort of project. And the more data that, that's uh, gathered collaboratively is the more data we can use. And thanks to guys like this as well, the sport will continue to grow with a sustainable mindset, uh, not with uh, I'm, I'm going to catch to sell. I'm going to catch. Thankfully, in Gibraltar, for that, for these, for these reasons, we don't have we don't have commercial fisheries in Gibraltar. So at least on on that front, they're not overfished to to that extent. <laughs> Venga. Firstly, what we do is we measure it, and then with this tagging, we put a tag on it to identify with a specific number. We put it on the top by the top fin, take a little bit of the scales off so it goes in, and then once it recovered a bit, we throw it back in the water. We measure it and we weigh it. So I'm going to do that now. I mean, 35. 35. Sí, está. Vamos a ponerle el tag. Primero. 
Wait, no. Nope. <laughs> Not point eight eight. Vale. Vamos a pisar. Dejad ahí un poquito que salga recovering. Que te saco lo de la red, saco lo de la mejor. Te va a trabajo y eso. Ponle tu 705. Amén. ¿Tiene otro? ¡Ah! Se fue, Francisco. ¿Ya está? Bye bye de Watermelon. Well done. Se voy a poner la gallina, ¿no? Mikey, no digo nada, ¿eh? Ese es más grande que el otro. Este es bueno, Maiko, ¿eh? Esto es kilo plazo. Esto es kilo plazo. Mira que pedazo de Mira que pedazo de sargo, papá. Que ya ganaron competición yo, pisa. Sube la caña ya. Que ahí estaron yo, cojama, pisa. Creo que con esto sí, va a ver. Como tamaño, este. Treba, no digo nada, miden igual. Miden igual. Igual. Miden exactamente igual. Pésalo, pésalo. El mío más grande. Mételo en el agua que se Basically, today we've come uh, to fish the gilted bream. Uh, lo looking at the day, I would say opening up, it seems a really, really, really fabulous uh, day. We've got a lot of overcast uh, skies, the, there's loads of clouds. Seems as if it's gonna rain a bit, which is actually good for the gilted bream because the sea will be quite dark. It'll be easier to, to uh, disguise the, our lines in the, in the sea. And hopefully today we can get a few bites from the gilted bream. The sea is very calm, just exactly how the gilted bream like it. Uh, we just have a bit of a current, which isn't ideal, but hopefully now with a change, with a change of tide, hopefully the tide will come down and we might be into a few uh, bites, hopefully. Here we 
are in our preferred spots in Little Bay. Well, personally, my preferred spots. We have just casted our, our rods and we have noticed a slight bit of um, current uh, pulling. But I have, I have no doubt that um, it, it is going to come down in literally 15, 20 minutes. The, the sea is, is, is incredible. It's uh, quite, quite clear exactly how, how I like to fish um, the gilded breams. And to be honest, I'm feeling uh, quite faithful today and uh, we, we are definitely going to land the gilted bream. We, we have to, you know, I, I mean, the, it, the weather is, is, is proper for it. And if, if we don't catch a gilted bream, uh, to, to be honest, I would be very, um, very unhappy. Oh, mira, 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 mira. Today are magnificent, uh, you know, uh, the biggest uh, or my worst enemy when, when, when we come shore fishing is the wind. And today it's dead calm, so we're hoping we are going to get a couple of bites. We're still waiting for the tide to reach at, at the bottom. And there's hopefully where we're trying to, to obviously get those bites from the gilded. Hopefully we are lucky and they can pa uh, pass our baits and take our crabs, hopefully. We, we are quite positive today.